Hey everyone, welcome back into the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again, wearing my Arctic Winter Games clothing. As a reminder that tomorrow is Arctic Winter Games Clothing Day, which you can wear it. If you don't have any, pick it up on, uh, at uh, Ken Mary's Insurance on Barnett Street. As far as the weather is concerned, starting off tonight with a nice picture. This one sent in by uh, Al Claxton. We'll call it the sun breaks through for obvious reasons. There's sun breaking through this beautiful area of forest here with the snow. And again, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to photos at ktbf11.com. Numbers look like this out the airport, nine degrees below our high today, six below. The record low, well, that was 52 degrees below zero in 1950. The record high, 41, 1942. Sunrise and sunset, almost eight and a half hours of daylight, again, seven minutes from yesterday. Once again, air quality problems going on for Fairbanks, unhealthy for sensitive groups, and for North Pole, unhealthy. So folks with, this, with heart problems or elderly or the children should uh, really remain inside for the most part. Here's your satellite and radar. A little bit of a circulation going on here. This area of low pressure here helping to spend some pockets of moisture and a lot of moisture over southeast Alaska, but it is bringing some moisture over the Fairbanks area and some of that is resulting in some occasional snow flurry activity. On the map today you can see once again snow is falling around the Juneau area. They've had, well they're going to have close to a foot of snow by the time it gets uh, all wrapped up tomorrow. Clear skies to the north, 25 to the below at uh, Barrow and 11 degrees below zero at Fort Yukon. In the lower 48 weather, well, things have cleared out over the central plains and the storm system moving ashore in the western half of the country and the big storm that brought all the, the pain and misery to the folks all over the deep south and to the east is finally exiting the country. Another storm system may bring some more snow to the folks over the eastern half uh, later on uh, tomorrow into Saturday. As you can see, the jet stream will be moving a little bit different than it was yesterday. A little bit of a rise and then a, a little bit of a dip. But the cold air will continue across the Great Lakes, but things are warming up over the south and more heavy rain expected across the western half of the country. Back to Alaska for tomorrow, flurries and fog for barrel wind chill advisories for Nome and Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we'll be looking at, for the most part, occasional flurry activity and some wind chill advisories for Healy and Delta Junction. There's the snow I was telling you about for uh, Juno, eight inches more, then it turns to rain. Rain and snow at Ketchikan, while over the southwest part of the state, snow in Cold Bay, snow showers for Kodiak and a few clouds in Bethel. And over the south central regions, we're looking at the snow showers at Homer and Anchorage and a couple inches expected in the Valdez area. Time once again for our kids' weather. All this week talking with the kids from North Pole Elementary School. Here's the teacher with an interesting weather fact. Hi, I'm Mrs. Koss, and this is my fourth grade class here at North Pole Elementary School. And today we have a fun fact to share with you. Class, did you know that winds have carried dust from the Sahara Desert in Africa all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to the state of Illinois? Whoa. Pretty cool. Thank you, Mrs. Koss. And looking at our road conditions, you can see blowing and drifting snow at the higher elevations, icy spots on all the roads, and some of the roads are also snowpacked, so keep that in mind. Forecast for the remainder of the night, 22 below, cloudy with occasional flurries. Tomorrow's forecast calling for 11 below, some fog, otherwise occasional snow flurries, and the five-day outlook, as you can see here, temperatures warming up a little bit for the weekend. They're near zero by Sunday, and then uh, cooling off a little bit toward the rest of the uh, next part of the week. And also we're looking at overnight lows uh, warming up too, as you can see, 20 uh, below the uh, normal temperature uh, by Monday night and Tuesday night, and uh, the snow will, should be tapering off by Sunday. Looking good, Mike, especially for the weekend. Yep. Look All at right. us, guys. Yep. We have a nice little color scheme color, going color on. Color scheme, yes. Yeah. That is I, true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't forget to go red tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That is all. We've run out of time. From all of us here at the News Center, have a great night. Good night.